Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom user registration and login forms for your WordPress site. If you find that the standard WordPress user registration form is lacking, creating a custom form instead gives you the ability to capture all of the necessary information you'll need from your users when they sign up for an account on your site. And creating a custom login form gives you the chance to add your own branding to your site's login page instead of having customers use the generic WordPress login form. With that said, let's jump right in. Starting off in the WordPress dashboard, we'll first need to install and activate the user registration add-on, so go to WP Forms on the left side, then click on Add-ons. Scroll down or use the search bar on the right corner to find the user registration add-on, then install and activate it. Once the add-on is activated, we can head into the form builder to start creating our forms. When activated, the user registration add-on gives you access to our user registration form template, which you can use to get up and running as quickly as possible, use it as a base and customize it to your needs, or you can still create your form from scratch if you'd like. For our example, let's create the form from scratch, so click on the blank form option. First things first, I'm going to add name and email fields to my form. I'm then going to add a single line text field, click on it, and update the label to username and make it a required field. If you have any specific instructions you'd like to include, say that you want usernames to only contain alphanumeric characters and no special characters, you can add these instructions in the description text box. If you want to make sure that this rule is enforced, you can create a custom input mask and add it to the input mask field under the advanced tab. For more information on how to create custom input masks, you can find a link to our tutorial in the video description below. Next, I'm going to look for the password field under the fancy field section, click on it, and make it a required field. You'll notice that there are two additional settings for this field, one that asks a user to confirm their password by having them provide it twice, and another to require a minimum password strength. If you enable the minimum strength setting, you can choose what level you want to require. Next, I'm going to add a paragraph text field to the form and change the label to call it short bio so that a user can give me just a little bit of information about themselves. When creating a user registration form, you'll need to keep in mind that the fields on your form need to correspond to the data in your site's WordPress user profiles. You can view your own user profile to see the default information it includes by going to your dashboard, then users, all users, and clicking on your username. Any fields you include on your user registration form need to correspond to the fields found on this page. But if you'd like to add other information to a user profile, like birthdays, phone numbers, and more, you can set up custom user meta fields. You can find our full tutorial on how to set this up in the video description below. For now, we can move on to configuring our user registration settings, so go to the Settings tab on the left and click on User Registration. On the right side, you'll see a section called Field Mapping, where you can connect your form fields to the fields found on the user profile page. Below this section is a section called User Roles. Here you can manually select which role will automatically be assigned to a user when they fill out this registration form. The next section, User Activation and Login, has three settings you can enable. The first lets you specify how a user's account will be activated either via an email that is sent to them where they can activate their own account by clicking on a link, or you, as the administrator, can manually approve each registration yourself. The next setting, Enable Auto Login, will automatically log in a user after they've registered for your site. The last setting, Hide Form if user is logged in, will hide the user registration form on your site for users who are already logged in. If this setting isn't enabled, then a logged in user will still be able to see the form on the site as if they hadn't already registered for an account. If it is enabled, the user will see the following customizable message if they try to access the registration form. The email notification section allows your site to automatically send an email to the admin when a new user is created and send an email to the user with their account information. If you'd like, you can click on the edit template link for either option to customize either email notification. 
If the user activation setting is enabled, you'll see a third setting in this section where you can have your site automatically send a notification to the user once their account has been activated. Once the user registration settings are configured, save your changes and exit the form builder, then re-enter so we can move on to creating our login form. In the Select a Template section, search for the login form template, then click on the Use Template button. This template only comes with three fields. The single line text field, where a user will enter either their username or email address, a password field, and the Remember Me checkbox, which is a field unique to this template that allows users to automatically log in every time they visit your site after they submit this form. I want to spruce up this login form a bit by adding my site's own branding. So to do this, I'm going to click and drag the content field to the top of my form and click on it to open the field settings. You can use the editor to add any custom text to your form. For example, we can add some text here to prompt users to register for our site if they don't have an account already. I can then add a hyperlink to the text by highlighting it and clicking on the link icon, then pasting the registration page's URL to the URL field so that a user can click on it and be taken to the user registration page where I'm planning to embed the registration form we just created. I also want to add a branding image to the form, so we're going to click on the Add Media button. This will pull up the WordPress Media Library, where I can choose any available image to add to my form. Now that my branding image has been added, we can go back into the Settings tab and do a little bit more customizing. Under the General tab, look for the field called Submit Button Text. I'm going to change this text so that the Submit button will instead say Login for this particular form. If you click on the User Registration tab, you'll find that there's only one setting for this form template, the Hide Form If User Is Logged In setting. You can turn this off or keep it on and customize the logged in message. When you're done, save your changes and you're all set. You now know how to create custom user registration and login forms in WordPress. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. You can also join our WPForms VIP Circle group on Facebook to learn even more tips and tricks, as well as be part of the growing WPForms community. If you need any extra help, please visit our contact page to connect with one of our trusted advisors. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.